happy Thursday night. Um, so I'm Jennifer Bell, and I'd just like to wish you all a um, good um, rest of your week and an excellent weekend. Um, whatever plans you have, I hope that you have something fun. Um, something that you want to do, something that relaxes you. Um, it's getting close to Thanksgiving. Um, so I hope you all have plans with your family. That's really fun. And, um, uh, I don't know, um, maybe not everybody eats like the regular Thanksgiving dinner, but whatever it is, I hope that you enjoy it and you can all spend some quality time with, um, loved ones that maybe you can't see all the time. I'm really looking forward to some fried turkey, um, well, deep fried, whatever you want to call that. Um, and, um, the flaky layer biscuits, those are always really good. And then cranberry sauce. Uh, I don't know, I just, uh, always love that. And then, of course, my, my aunt's, um, cranberry and cream cheese spread. She's been making that the last couple holidays, and it's amazing. Um, but anyways, um... So yeah, um, so yesterday was my, uh, 16th anniversary, and today was really great, um, yes, my husband always surprises me, he always, uh, amazes me. You know, it's been a long road, um, it's been a lot of ups and downs and stuff like that, um, we've been together 16 years, so of course, and that's a pretty big feat, um, for someone like me, cause, like, my relationships in the past didn't last that long, um, those guys were pretty crazy, um, not the nicest, um, you know, uh, why well, should say, like, past 18, um, the ones that, like, once I started adulthood, they weren't, they weren't the nicest, um, you know, so, this is actually, I met my husband when I was 19, and, um, fresh, well, well, not, like, fresh out of boot camp, um, I got a medical discharge out of, um, Fort Jackson, South Carolina for my knee, um, an honorary medical discharge, and uh, I met him, like, six months later, so, um, he pretty sad if you don't make it out of boot camp, right, but my knee was, like, pretty messed up, um, so I don't know, <laughs> you know, some things happen, like, sometimes you think things are meant for you, and sometimes you just have a better plan, um, that's in place that seems, um, that ends up even better than, you know, you think boot camp and being in the military is, like, an excellent thing, but sometimes other things are meant more for you, so, you know, um, but yeah, um, yeah, we've been together ever since, and, you know, it's been a ride, um, uh, but he's, he really surprised me today, um, <laughs> we had promised, um, some things, and, yeah, so, I was very, I was very impressed and very, um, just really filled my heart, so, um, yeah, and then, um, my babies, you know, get to spend time with them, and my, um, two-year-old, he's been just doing so great on it, on the potty, um, we don't use, like, the regular baby potty, we use the, um, like, camping type potty, um, that, like, you pull out the little thing, and then it kind of, like, empties down the bottom, and he's been doing so great, and I'm so proud of him, he's, like, just amazing, um, you know, the other, the other kids did not, like, go on potty, <laughs> So at least I can kind of feel a little bit better, like I didn't kind of like trying to change things up, and so he's, um, you know, kind of been accepting certain things a little easier. Um, yeah, definitely the potty situation. That's an improvement, because the other kids, <laughs> they were not having, maybe it's just because the size of it, like they were uncomfortable, I don't know, but like this one sits up a little higher, so then that way, um, like, he can't climb off it as easily. But he'll just be sitting there just, like, laughing and, you know, trying to slam stuff down on the table. And But, you know, overall, he does really good. So I'm really I'm proud of him, you know. Um, he actually sat on there kind of for, like, a long time today. You know, we got an appointment just to, like, make sure that, like, if he's delayed or not, um, you know, uh, just make sure we get him back on track and stuff like that. Um... You know, because obviously we want him in school at the right time. And um, that's one thing is just making sure that you, um, if you notice certain things about your kids, um, where they're, like, not doing certain things, like they're not saying enough enough words or, like, making any kind of, like, even tiny full sentences or, like, catching balls or, um, 
you know, there's there's just a lot of stuff. Um, just make sure you ask for like a early step or um, just anything like that, just to make sure your kids, um, you know, get back on track because you really want that. You want them to start on time. You want them to have um, every opportunity. And a lot of states offer, um, like really any state should offer. Um, they'll offer a program where they can like kind of work with them and get them. Um, where they need to be in, like, if they got to be on an IEP, it's okay, you know, there's, like, I know there used to be a big shame about it, but there's really not anymore, um, just because the things are a lot different right now, like, you know, just a lot of kids, um, the world is changing, and unfortunately, it's not, you know, changing always in the good way, and, um, the babies sometimes get affected from it, and, um, you know, you just... Try and make sure you find resources uh, for them and just do the best you can, you know. So, um, that's one little tidbit of advice. Um, uh, and then, uh, Thanksgiving, I just, uh, I cannot stop thinking about it. Like, that's seriously, like, who else thinks about that all year? Like, that's just the one year you can just, like, eat, like, a billion things and just, like, shovel them all in your face and you're not being, like, judged for it. <laughs> and I've been working out, so I'm kind of, like, getting myself prepared for it and... <laughs> Because I'm probably going to gain, like, a billion inches. But, you know, it's all good. It's Thanksgiving. Um, you know, it's a happy time to spend with your family. You don't get to see all the time. And, you know, see my brother and my sister-in-law. And then um, see my other brother and my other um, sister-in-law. Um, see my grandma, my uncle. Um, you know, stuff like that. So it's really cool. And I look forward to it. And then, um... I don't know, it's like a lot of good things and it started snowing today and I don't know how many of you are excited about the snow, but I love the snow. Like, seriously, like, it just always, it just always gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling. Like, you know, um, just remember when I was a kid and I guess I kind of held on to that even though like now it doesn't, it doesn't really work like that, but just like the waking up and seeing the snow and just thinking of the snow days and going out and, um, playing in it, you know, having snowball fights, going sledding. Um, we used to have this really big hill in town. Well, I mean, they still have it, but I don't live there anymore. It was just so fun. It was so terrible climbing back up because it's like, <laughs> it was so steep. And then it gets so icy. It's so hard to climb down. Like, once you walk up like a little ways and you just slide back down. It takes forever to climb back up the hill, but it was so fun. And then, like, it land, it end in the trees, so you'd slide down and you like totally kind of. I used to freak out thinking I was like gonna slam into a tree, but it was so fun. Um, you know, it's just stuff like that. It's just like um, you know, getting ready for the new year to come around, and you know, it gets cold and things kind of get dead, your plants and stuff like that. But then it's um, preparing yourself for a whole new year, whole new opportunities, whole new chances to um start over just like the plants um just like your flowers and um i really love it you know it's just like the whole um energies in the air around these seasons um i don't know it's just like really exciting it's really electric for me um just i don't know like decorating is just really exciting for me i don't know it just like brings a different kind of like comfort to me um you know you can get so many things um you don't even have to decorate all fancy, you know. It's just like, it just makes you happy when you see it, you know. And, um, the kids are kind of getting over it, but <laughs> I'm never going to get rid of my holiday spirit. So, um, I don't know. Whatever you got to do, you know, um, just make your plans. Make sure you see your loved ones, um, as much as possible, you know, because, like I said before, you just never know when your time's coming. And, um, you just want to appreciate everybody and show them love and, um, spend as much time with them as possible and just enjoy the seasons. I mean, this is like the time for bonfires and marshmallows and um, hoodie sweaters and football games and uh, so fun. Uh, so much to look forward to. Um, but yeah, um, just stay blessed. Um, you know, things do get hard and they do kind of suck a lot. Um, you know, but there's always good things that come out of bad things. Um, you know, sometimes things get really hard and really crappy before they get really amazing. And then you look back and be like, you know what, I'm really actually glad that happened because now I'm at where I'm at now. Um, and it's taken me a while to get to that point. You know, I kind of used to be like, oh, why does things always happen to me? And why is things so, just so 
I don't know, just so negative and, um, but just really trying to learn to see the positive and just like, um, being grateful for everything. It just really changed my personality, uh, changed my personality, <laughs> changed my thinking. I don't think anything's going to change my personality. I don't know what's going on up there, but you know, it's like, I would be like super excited about something and next minute I'm kind of like, Ooh, you know, when, um, <clears throat> Next minute, I'm like, I don't even want to be around people, you know, um, so yeah, I'm not going to say that, but, um, gosh, like, what is there to say? It's just, um, you know, learn from the past and just doing the best you can and enjoying life the best you can, um, taking every opportunity to learn and grow as a person and, um, really like everything is there to be grateful for, even the bad things, because it's experience, you know, it's, um, teaching you how to do things different, um, teaching you how to appreciate when the good things come around. Um, you know, when it's hard, it is, it's not always, uh, super fun, but you know, honestly staying positive is just so much easier mentally. Um, and now that I've been working out, oh my gosh, it's just, it feels so good. Like seriously, I've been so sore and you know, of course you look down, you do a couple crunches and you're expecting your stomach to be like super flat. Why do we keep doing that? We know that's not how it works. Uh. <laughs> but, um, that's like what I'm, my thing right now. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm finally exercising. I want to see results now. But, you know, um, it just feels really good to exercise, get it out of the way early before I eat. And, um, you know, pushing myself, doing the squats and, um, the high knee marches and, Oh my gosh, I've been doing like a lot of different stuff. Like it, there's this thing called bridging that my husband's been doing for um, his PT. Oh, I don't know if I like squats or that worse, but seriously, or lunges. And then like, you know, doing a little jog and um, doing a little walking. I um, mean, it's right there, you know, in the living room. But um, it's a little something, arm curls, um side leg lifts, um, you know, using the weighted medicine ball, and just, wow, I feel so much better, like, it's totally, um, feeling a lot more clarity, and just feeling a whole lot better about myself, um, even though I'm not getting the results right away, but it's just knowing that I'm taking that first step, and just trying to stay motivated, I actually had a couple of days, I kind of, like, lazed out, and I was like, oh my gosh, is this how it's going to be, like, another year? And I'll be honest, like, you know, but I got right back into it, so that's the thing. It's, if you got to take a couple of days off, you take a couple of days off, but then come right back into it, you know, because my goal is to take this into the new year. You know, like, I want to actually, for once in my life, follow through with the New Year's resolution, because I've never been able to do that. <laughs> 35. That is so pathetic. <laughs> but, you know... You gotta start sometime, and, um, it's like, gosh, you're doing those squats and stuff, and you're doing the jogging, and you're like, like, serious, like, it's like your whole soul is, like, getting ripped out of you and stuff like that, but, you know, it's like, if you can't afford a gym and you want to work out, you gotta do what you gotta do, um, you know, and then, um, I don't know, it's just, like, basically it, I'm just really excited, um, I hope you all can join me, um, next month, um, this, just a whole business thing, um, you know, just try to, um, learn what I can from this trip, um, from the conference, um, what I could take into it, um, and take out from it, obviously, um, to help me grow as a business, as a brand, and uh, this is totally something new for me, something different, and you know, I've never done anything like this before. Um, and it's just amazing stepping out of my comfort zone. And, you know, there's still a lot of things I need to work on to um, continue going out of my comfort zone. And I'm still trying to get myself um, kind of like prepared for just going ahead and doing those other things. But, you know, um, I'm still like seeing a lot of progress in myself as a person. And, um, you know, that's, that's really all it is, is just, uh, taking that first step and just looking back and keeping yourself accountable and, um, you know, just like looking forward to the future and, um, what you think that you're capable of and just keeping those high, um, dreams and those high goals, um, open for yourself, you know, and like that way when you start kind of feeling down on yourself, like you can't put in as much time or 
you can't do this or you can't do that. Like, you know what, I'm going to get to this point no matter how long it takes, you know, so, um, yeah, uh, uh, gosh, I cannot wait till Thanksgiving. Ugh. And I really thought I was going to miss it because for some reason I totally thought it was like the week earlier. So I was so glad when I realized it was the week after because, uh, like my family makes the best stuff. And then I get to meet my new, um, my new little, um, cousin. She's such a little sweetheart. She's, like, so tiny. And her little baby face, she's got, like, one of those little butt noses. And, ooh, oh, I'm so excited. Um, yes, and i um, see my two sisters-in-law. And, um, uh, you know, it's just really exciting. It's gonna be a good time. And I cannot wait. And I cannot wait for it to continue snowing. Um, it's like one of my Sorrel boots I bought and used. But they're, like, amazing. Oh my gosh, those boots. I don't know any off-brand that works like as good as those. So until then, um, yeah, because I need something good because I'm clumsy and I need to be able to keep my traction. So, you know, I'm just very excited. I'm, I'm, I was ready for the rain, you know, like give the rain to somebody who's having a drought right now. Like we don't need rain. We need snow. Like give the rain to the other parts of the country where they're having these like crazy wildfires and uh, like, you know, if it's going to rain, I'd rather have it rain somewhere that needs it, you know. And, um, oh my gosh, it's going to be like a while last two months because I'm like so excited to think about everything that's, you know, going on and thinking how big my baby's growing and, oh my gosh, I want to have a 15 month old and a 15 year old in two months. Like it's nuts. Um, but yes, so I hope you guys all have a great night. Um. You know, if you find any value in this, um, just hit subscribe and um, I'll send you a free um, ebook called Five Ways to Get Your Mailing List Started. Just hit me up on one of my other um, social medias and send me your email so I can get that sent to you. Um, you know, because obviously I want you to hit subscribe and then I can send it to you. Um, it's completely free, like nothing else. Just doing what you'd already do is like subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'm on Twitter as jambell 84 Instagram is Jennifer A. Bell 7 and um, Facebook is Bell Marketing. Yeah, so, um, you know, follow me. I'll follow you back. Subscribe. You know, I'll subscribe back to you because I love following people. Um, there's always something fun that someone's doing that I can, you know, a place to visit or a new um, trick to try or like something fun to do with the kids, you know, so I always love that. Um, but yeah, just uh, hit me up and smash that subscribe button and, um, Yes, tomorrow's Friday. How many people are excited? Oh my gosh, it's almost the weekend. This week has flown by. It's crazy. Oh, and then tomorrow, um, I'm going to have to do a video of taking the lashes off so you guys can see how easy it is. Like, I can't wait. I love these lashes. And then I got to do the pore primer and the eyebrow thing. But I need, um, yeah, I still have it tweezies. I'm going to have to go get them waxed. Because right now it's like crazy trying to like fill in do the eyebrow kit, but yes, I'm like so excited, either tomorrow or like the day after, um, it depends, you know, I live a pretty, like, you know, roller coaster, um, life, so, <laughs> I'll do one as fast as I can, but yes, all you ladies that just think it's like so scary, like, oh, it's so easy to put on, but like, how easy is it to take off, like, it's magical, it's like, unicorn rainbows, like seriously, and then they like stick right back on. Oh my gosh, it's crazy! So I can get girly again. Yes, I miss those days of being girly. I'm just like, <laughs> like totally Sasquatch. <laughs> anyway, so you guys all have a great rest of your night, and um, I will see you all later. Toodles.